222 day, we will be talking about SHX, XLM, and XRP, and providing a unique example that I haven't ever heard of until I was told about it that shows how not only are SHX, XLM, and XRP connected into the PayPal mafia, but how Action Factory Inc. is connected to people from XLM and SHX before either of those were officially created. Here is a court document from the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. And if you look up Action Factory in here, it is even called out as doing business as Stronghold. I had AI help me to put together a timeline here. So Ripple was created in 2012. Jed McCaleb got out in 2013 to create Stellar, which was created in 2014. Tammy Camp was at Stellar between 2018 and 2019. If we look at T Tammy Camp on here, she was at Stellar in between December of 2014 and January of 2015 which is only a couple of months so i'm not 100 percent sure if that is right but in that time she got mi millions of customers onto the stellar platform and that was primarily accomplished because of facebook and i have some more information on that but not quite enough to expand on at this point Sean Bennett began with Ripple in 2013. And then Tammy and Sean co-founded Stronghold after working together at Stellar. And the concept of Stronghold was established in 2014. And I'll explain why the t -t timeline here that doesn't exactly match up with public accounts is important for the adoption of XLM and SHX. Here we have a profile on Stronghold Pay and it says here that it was founded in 2016. It also calls out that Tammy is the founder and CEO at Action Factory 2. Here is a different page that shows that Stronghold was founded in 2017 and it also points back to Action Factory. If we check out Tammy Camp on here, we are able to see that she has been the co-founder and chief executive officer of Stronghold from August of 2017 to now. And she is also currently founder and CEO at Action Factory as of June of 2012. Here's where it gets interesting. On the USPTO site, Action Factory Inc. has a trademark on the stronghold text of the company name itself, which was filed in March of 2021. Here is a little bit more on Action Factory Inc., which is also in San Francisco, which is where the headquarters of Stronghold, Stellar, and Ripple are. And it calls out Stronghold Tech LLC here, which was incorporated in 2020. Here we have that that Action Factory Inc. will do business in California as stronghold tech and that was actually filed on july 1st of 2013 where tammy camp is the registered agent and if you go on the california sos site and look up stronghold technologies which goes in line with that date i just showed and because it got formed in delaware it shows that it was first filed in July of 2013.
Here is a Yelp page on Action Factory, and it doesn't have a lot on here. However, it does have the same address as is called out here on Action Factory Inc., where we were able to connect it into Stronghold Tech. And on here, it calls out that Tammy C. is the owner. Here is the filing document from July of 2013, which ties Action Factory Inc. into Action Factory Media, which again goes right back into Tammy Camp. And here's where it gets even more interesting. If you go back on the California SOS site, and if you open up the history of Stronghold Tech, and you go to the amendment from November of 2019, it also points to Action Factory Inc. doing business in California as Action Factory. And all of this information is odd because Tammy and Sean came out publicly talking about Stronghold in 2018. But according to California records, they registered in California in 2013 to do business as Action Media, which is shown here. However, it wasn't until November of 2019 that they officially filed according to California to become Stronghold. And that can be shown here and also ties into this here, which is all odd because if Stellar wasn't created until 2014, how did Stronghold get organized before that? And what all of this tells me is that it was a coordinated effort that was planned out in advance by the individuals involved in Ripple, Stronghold, and Stellar. Especially because Michaela departed Ripple in 2013 to create Stellar in 2014. The next piece of interesting content in this is that Tammy Camp has ties into Ralph Merkel, who created the cryptographic set of a hash tree or a Merkel tree. A little about my background is that um, I first learned about Bitcoin in 2011 when I was attending Singularity University um, at NASA Ames by um, a world-renowned cryptographer named Ralph Merkel. Um, and is, is this um, the, uh, the Merkel proof? Merkel? This is <laughs> Merkel. Yeah, talk to me about Bitcoin. <laughs> um, <laughs> and here we have a clip of... Jesse Lund of IBM, Tammy, Jed, and a guy from the Federal Reserve talking about the importance of a Merkle tree again. With that, it should be almost be like a standard or um, like a Merkle kind of entity. And now I'm getting past it. You guys in Merkle Mountains and stuff? Like, are you <laughs> I know uh, Merkle? Uh, Merkle yeah, okay. But yeah, how, how would you design? How would you guys design a digital currency for the United States or any country? Jed, Jed, there's your opening right there. <laughs> Federal Reserve asked Jed McCaleb how to create a digital currency. Yeah, I don't think I have to comment on that a whole lot. And as we are talking about the Federal Reserve and IBM and XLM and SHX, one of the board members of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York comes out of IBM, just like Jesse Lund, who has been so interconnected with XLM and even SHX. Now it begins to make a lot more sense as to why Stronghold appears to have been created before Stellar was ever created and how that ties back into Ripple and even with what was just announced about a US backed stablecoin being created by Ripple. And an interesting thing to note is that I have shown how SHX is connected into tons and tons and tons of institutions. And as I learn more about the Stellar Consensus Protocol itself, 
it lines up very well with what the guy from the Federal Reserve just asked of Jed about how would you design a U.S. digital currency. It's possible that that currency has already been designed and that was the plan this whole time. So why is the Merkle tree as important as it is in crypto? Well, I am not a tech guy, but it appears as if it is the founding idea behind a hash-based blockchain. Crypto Airy put out this post on April 4th of 2024, and it seems as if it is generated by AI in response to a particular prompt, but it is explaining how to create a Merkle tree proof of reserve that is decentralized, trustless, and resistant to manipulation or fraud, which sounds a lot like what an immutable blockchain is. And I also asked AI on it because I was having a hard time trying to directly connect this into how it's applied into blockchain tech. So overall, the purpose of a Merkle tree is to streamline the storage of transactional hashes on a chain by grouping together all transactions within a block and encoding them into one hash merkle trees ensure safer and faster data storage in our article here from june of 2018 it is talking about how stellar and stronghold are working to change how global payments are made and it's even talking about a cross-border payment network and institutions and banks. Even in 2018, it was talking about how Stellar had smart contracts, which is probably tying back into IBM and the Hyperledger platform. However, in my APFII content, I did show how IBM actually approached Stellar to have them help IBM with blockchain applications. And it talks about IBM's first public token, which ties right back into SHX and Stronghold USD. With all of this, it sounds as if Stronghold and SHX were created a long time ago and were planned to be doing exactly what they are doing at this time.